The leg over manipulation is in fact the more intense version of the stretch manipulation. This time we need the treatment table which is positioned a little bit higher. She lies on her back. And an important little detail, don't keep the arm there, but put the arm over there, because otherwise it's going to be in my way during the maneuver. So what do we do? <clears throat> First of all, we build in some hip flexion. We check that the patient is relaxed. Let's imagine that her leg would still be in that position. She's not relaxed. Huh? Okay, she's relaxed. Then I build in some traction. And under traction, I take the leg with me. Why do I build in traction in the hip? Just for comfort reasons. Then in this area, it is a little bit more comfortable. So, I build in traction. She's perfectly relaxed. Okay. You can hook the foot over here if you want. And then, of course, we need pretension. Pretension in rotation. So we go with the knee as deep as we can. And we make sure that the patient doesn't fall off the table, of course, so I give a little bit counter pressure over here. Then I build in the pretension. And how do I do that? Well, once the knee is deep, my feet are spread, I keep the knee deep, I put my hand on the shoulder, feet together, and like this, I put my body weight on the shoulder of the patient and I have the pretension. The manipulation is very easy. It's just push the knee down with your head. Okay. Traction. Take it with you. Hook. You face in this direction. Go deep. Feet together. Body weight on the shoulder. And manipulation. Again, a little detail. When you build in your pretension, yeah, let's imagine the knee is deep, but then I put my body weight on the shoulder, sometimes this happens. Mm. And then you don't have a good pretension. The knee has to stay deep, doesn't move anymore. Pretension and maneuver.